Labour leader Sir Keir Starmer challenged Boris Johnson over foreign investment into UK political parties following concerns of Russian Tory donors with the Prime Minister delivering a swipe towards Labour's own funding from the Chinese. Sir Keir Starmer urged Boris Johnson to push forward legislation to introduce further sanctions on Russia, telling him he had Labour's support and stressed the danger of foreign investment into UK politics. Sir Keir said Labour had also proposed amendments to make sure the rules were changed on foreign donations following concerns the Conservatives have seen Russian investors in the past. The Prime Minister turned it back onto Sir Keir, arguing the rules in place were tough enough before pointing out Labour was also victim to large Chinese investment when Barry Gardiner MP was given hundreds of thousands of pounds. Sir Keir grilled Mr Johnson during PMQs and demanded the government pushes for stricter sanctions against Russia. Sir Keir said, I can assure him if he brings it forward in this session in coming days it will have our support, there's no reason to delay this. Let me also turn to the elections, as it stands, the bill would allow unfettered donations from overseas to be made to UK political parties. From shell companies and individuals with no connections to the UK. Labour has proposed amendments that protect our democracy from the flood of foreign money, drowning our politics, we can all now see how serious this is. So will the Prime Minister now change course and support these measures in the House of Lords? The Elections Bill introduces changes to UK election including government control over the Electoral Commission. Mr Johnson replied, we have very tough rules, tough rules in this country to stop foreign donations. We don't accept, we don't accept foreign donations, you have to be on the register of the UK electoral register to give to UK political party. And before he starts chucking it around, I just remind him the largest single corporate donation to the Labour Party came from member of the Chinese Communist Party. After the jibe, the Commons roared with a muted Sir Keir taking to the dispatch box.